welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Ayman from Mass Code Tech. And today's lesson is about logic operators. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. Before we get started, I have something special to show you guys. Ta-da! We have reached 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. Okay guys, we are going to start with our variable. To make a variable, we are going to type in var, let's name it number. So number is equals to 15. Now we're going to start with our if statement. To make an if statement, we are going to type in if, followed by parentheses, an open curly bracket, and a closed curly bracket. And in between our parentheses, we are going to type in number is greater than is equals to 18 and now we're gonna put the and sign and and this is how the and sign looks like right over here and space number is less than is equals to 30 and in our open curly bracket and close curly bracket, we are going to make an ellipse. Now let's start with it. Ellipse, followed by parentheses, and it with a semicolon. And between the parentheses, we're going to type in 200, 200, 150, 150. And let's fill some color in. So to fill some color in, we are going to type in fill, followed by parentheses and the semicolon. And in between the parentheses, we're going to type in the number of the color we want. So I want black and for the num color black, I will need to put the zero in. So the circle is black. Okay, now, we are going to increase this number over here. So the circle appears and it's going to be true. And when we decrease, this, decrease the number, it's going to disappear. So let's make it 15. Okay, now we're going to make an else statement. So to make an else statement, we're going to type in else followed by an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. And in between our open and closed curly, curly bracket, we're going to type in rect. If the statement is true, the circle will not disappear. If it falls, the circle will disappear and the rect will appear. So let's see. Rect, followed by parentheses, and under with the semicolon. And in between the parentheses, we're going to type in 130, 145, 150. 150. Let's fill some color in. Fill, followed by parentheses and a semicolon. Let's make it black too. Okay, since this statement has been true by this state, the if statement, the circle has not disappeared because 18, the number 25, is greater than 18 and less than 30. Now, if we decrease a number and make it less than 18, and it's gonna, the rectangle is going to appear because that's gonna be a false statement. So let's make it 15. 
the rectangle is up here. And if you guys are wondering, what about the 30? If we make the number greater than 30, it's still going to be the rectangle. So let us make it 35. It's still going to be the rectangle because we are not following the rules of the if statement. Okay, now for the next part, we're going to make an or statement. So let's go head on to the or statement. Hey guys, it's Mohammed and my sister just showed you about and operators. I will be teach showing you about or operators. So first, we have to make a variable and let's name it number. And let's make the number 15. Don't forget the semicolon. Now let's make a if statement, which you make by typing if, followed by parentheses, an open curly bracket, and a closed curly bracket. And in between the parentheses, we're going to type in if number is greater than 18, or, or sign is the two pipes. Or you could shift, and I don't know about your keyboard, but under the back backspace key there are two pipes you tap those for the r and number is greater than 18 or the number should be less than 30 so if that if that is true we're gonna make a black ellipse which will be black the color black ellipse 200 to 200 to 150 150. Alright, now we're gonna make an else else statement. Else or else we're gonna be like or else draw a ret which will be 130 to 145 and 150 to 150 and let's make the color black too all right now we're saying if the number is greater than 18 and less than 30 draw an ellipse so let's make it the number 25 and there we go the number is greater than uh 18 now we're going to change the signs for number is greater than 18 and number is less than 30 let's make the greater sign to less si less than and the less than sign to greater than. Now let's make it to 25. There we go. We said number is less than 18. And we said number should be greater than 30 to make to make the statement true. And we typed in 25, which means this statement is false. So the rect appeared. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye. I'll see you next time. And thank you guys for 500 subscribers.